Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, thank you for joining me. And we're ready to paint today. As you can see, we have our canvas standing up tall because we're going to do a very tall painting today. That's right. Now, I haven't done anything to prepare the canvas. It's dry as a bone right now. That's right. But what we're going to do is we're going to put down a little bit of our black acrylic gesso paint and we'll let that dry and come back over it. So let's get right to it. I'm just using one of these very fancy sponge brushes that you can pick up for about, oh, 50 cents or so. That's right. Now, we just take that acrylic paint, just load it up on there, and what we're going to do today, I'm going to do a waterfall. That's right, we've been on the Anduin River and I'm gonna stick with that just for a little bit more. Just for a bit more. Now, we're going to have our waterfall. It's going to be very tall here. So we're going to start right here. And we're just going to bring this down right there. That's right. Just pushing that paint into the canvas. It'll be right here. And we can just bring it this way. There we go. And this waterfall is going to come right down this way. We don't want to make that too thick because we want this to dry. We're going to let this dry completely before we go with our oil paints right on top of it. But we just put it in. We want it to cover it and make the canvas nice and dark. That's right. And then these areas up here, that'll be the sky still, so we're not going to put it there. But we do have rocks. Oh, we do have rocks and things off to this side. There we go. Just put this on here. And just fill up the canvas down here. We'll make that a rock face. And maybe some vegetation on there. Paint some trees and things, you know, you know. And we'll come back over this and we'll fill this with color. There, you'll see. You shall see. That's right. Oh, we've seen that, that image of that waterfall and there's this big rock. Big rock that sticks up right in the center. Splits those falls in half. And just make that whatever shape you want. That's your last chance. I call that last chance rock. That's right, if you fall off your boat or you're in your boat and you've dropped an oar, oh, you don't have many chances to stop yourself before you fall right over. So we'll call that last chance rock because that's the last thing you have a chance of grabbing onto to save yourself. That's right. Of course, if you're in one of those elven boats, oh, they tend to stay upright. You could go right over those falls. And you would be fine, you'd be fine. I suppose you might be a little scary, but there we go, we've got that just put in, just put in. I'll go check on my greens. We'll let that dry, we'll come back and we'll fill it with color. It'll be a fun painting we do today. All right, I'm back, I'm back from checking on my greens. Well, by checking on my greens, I mean, I'm back from the green dragon. <laughs> That's okay, we're ready to paint now. Now what we've done, we put that, we put that black acrylic gesso down, we've allowed it to dry. Now we're gonna come back on, we just have a few things left to prepare this canvas. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take some liquid white, some magic white. Oh, you know, the magic white that the blue wizard, Bob Ross the Blue, taught us how to use. That's right. And what we want to do is we want to put that magic white just over the sky here. Just coming on. 
If you get a little bit over that black area, that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Oh, and maybe it wasn't quite dry enough yet. Oh dear. All right. Well, I thought it had dried. I thought I gave it enough time. All right. We're going to come over here. If you do this, you let it dry a little more. I should have done it last night when I was thinking about it, but I thought I'd just come and do it. And we'll put that in. There we go. It's mostly dry. I must have just hit a patch that hadn't quite dried enough yet. That's okay. We don't make mistakes. As Bob Ross the Blue used to say, we don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents. That's for sure. That's for sure. All right. Bring this down. Oh, we're getting it all over. Just take that back. It seems to be mostly dry. Mostly, mostly. That's right. Except in there. There is that spot. That's okay. Maybe it's just a wisp of cloud or something. Or some birds. Some spies. Oh. All right. We got that down. Let's come. Let's come to our palette now. All right, we're just gonna take that one inch brush we were using. We just washed that in odorless paint thinner. And then of course we beat the Sauron out of it just down in our rubbish bin. There we go. Okay, now that we have that brush nice and clean and dry, we're going to cover some of this area. That's right. So what we do is I've got this, oh, I think that's an ultramarine blue we're using today. I'll just come into this, just pull that out. And what we're going to do, we're just gonna come over this area on the black. We'll just bring it down, there we go. We'll just put that in and we'll come back and we'll highlight this. We'll highlight this with some titanium white, that's for sure. So this is just our water. As it comes down, tumbles over this waterfall. There we go. And now I didn't have any liquid clear. I didn't put that down. So I'm having to use a little bit more. If I use that liquid clear, it would just run on there a little easier. But that's okay. I just was excited to get going and I jumped right into it. Didn't I? There we are. That's okay. That's okay, we're putting down a thick paint now, and then our thin paint. We'll thin out our paint, and the thin paint will stick better to a thick paint, that's for sure. All right. Now, of course, in our story, we were coming along. And we've been, oh, this is... This is the Anduin River continuing on. So we've been on that Anduin River quite a bit. We did a painting of leaving Lothlorien as our, our fellowship left after taking refuge in Lothlorien. And we painted as they floated down the Anduin River. That's right. And the Argonoth, we painted that together too. Oh, that was a fun one. That's one of my favorites. And we're not too far from the Argonoth here. That's right, we're, f we're at the Great Falls of the Anduin River. And we just bring this down. Now you can't see that too well. And I've turned my canvas a little bit because, oh, I have a window in the Hobbit hole and it puts quite a glare on those black canvases, so. But that's okay. We come down right here at the bottom. That's where the river comes. And it continues on towards Gondor. Just put that in. There we go.
There we go. And we have that large rock right in the center there that's splitting those falls. And you remember we call that last chance rock. That's what I call it anyway. That's what I call it. You would too if you were if you were floating down those falls and coming a little too close. That's right. That is right. All right, so we've got that. We've put that in there. Now we put our liquid white up there. Let's just go back up and let's make our sky. Using that ultramarine blue still. We'll come up here and we just circle that in. There we go. Come back. Let's knock a little bit of that liquid white. We're picking up that magic white. Just knock some of that off. Come back into our ultramarine blue. And come to the corners. Start in the corners and pull it down. There we go. There we go. Just putting that in. And it makes... It makes, it's not that phthalo blue we use on the sky so often. This one makes a little bit of a lighter sky. It's a bit of a lighter sky. There we go. Just bring that down. Knock some of that white off. We're picking up. That's right. Back to our blue. And just come back up to this edge. There we go. Just at that top. And then work it down. Work it down. Just using crisscross strokes there. There we go. There we are. And it's okay. We come over the top of that rock. That's all right. We'll highlight that with some color here in a little bit. There we go. Now let's... Let's put some clouds in there. Now, oh, we didn't talk about the colors we have today. Today we have alizarin crimson. We probably won't use that too much, maybe a bit to uh, give some tint to our rocks. And we've got our, as we said, ultramarine blue, our sap green, burnt umber, black, Ivory, ivory, black, black ivory. Oh, however you want to say it. And we have cadmium, lemon, yellow ochre, and of course, titanium white. Look at that titanium white. He's wanting to run away. Well, you can't do that because you're going to become a cloud. There we go. We just load up that fan brush, come back up, and let's just, let's just mix some clouds in here. There we go. We've got some clouds marching along back there. Oh, seeing what's going on now at this point. Oh, our hobbits, they went off. Well, Mr. Frodo and my grand gaffer Gamgee, they went off towards Mordor. But what they didn't know was that Merry and Pippin, Pippin being my grandpappy Took, they had been captured by those orcs. Oh, those awful orcs. That's right, they captured them, and they were taking them away. And of course, Boromir. Oh, poor Boromir. Such a sad tale. He fell trying to defend, trying to defend my grandpappy Took and my grunkle Mary. That's right. Just circle in those clouds. Now what we're going to do, clean off that brush. And we'll come back to that one inch brush, our dry one inch brush. There we go. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, hold on to your brushes. They'll get away from you. They'll get away and they could cause a mess. All right, we're just gonna come in and we grab the bottom of that cloud. Just grab the bottom and just mix that in. Push that into the canvas. There we go, just the bottom there. Leaving the top.
There we are. There we go. Now wash that brush. There we go. Now that we've dried that brush, we're just going to lift, just lift those clouds, lift them up. Just be that wind that's blowing those around, it's blowing those all over. There we go. Very light, very gentle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my two inch brush and just very lightly, just pull those clouds out, blending those clouds, just blending our sky together. Just pulling out any brush marks that might be in there. We lift them up and then come back and gently pull those out. There we go. Get those wispy things going on. Just come back gently, gently, smooth over those. There you go. And you can see your sky takes shape there. There we go. There we go. And you can even take, oh, our blender brush. That's right. Just lightly, lightly circle this in. There we go. And that smooths it out some. Just doing it very gently there. There we go. And you see that quickly, oh, I grabbed some color there. That's okay, we don't make mistakes. Just happy accidents, blend that together. There we go. There we are. Just clean the color off of that. There we go, and then we've got our sky. We have got our sky. So what we'll do is we've got our, our last chance rock right there in the middle. And let's give that rock, let's give him some, some detail. There we go. So we'll come up. We're going to take some of our Ivory black, we'll mix it with some of our burnt umber. Just gonna come with a rocky color here. And it looks pretty dark and what we want, we wanna be able to highlight this. So let's come in with some of our titanium white. So we get that and it stays a little marbled. We get it on here. And now we just come in and give this rock some detail. There we are. Grab a little bit more. Define his shape. There we go. Grabbing a little bit more dark in there. And we're gonna come to this side. And we've already got that shadow on there mostly. Come to some of our lighter. And we'll just come down this way. And what we're doing is we're just pulling out just that rock, just 
given some rock shape in there. Coming back, mixing some more white. There we go. Just get that nice rocky color. And you're letting that palette knife just come down and just break, break on the canvas. And this will give shape to that. And down here at the bottom, it'll get lost. There'll be mist that's kicked up. So it'll get lost down there. There we go. Now way off in the distance as well. Way off in the distance. Let's come in, let's make, let's take a little bit of our alizarin crimson. We'll mix up a color with that. And take some of our Thalo blue, let's just create a color that can be those rocks way back in the distance. So way back here, there's some mountain cliffs. And this, this right here, this break, that would be the back side of the Argonoth. Oh, way off on the other side there. That's where our fellowship came through. And we just put that in. That's just way, way off in the distance. As I said, our Argonoth was right there. So we'll just make the appearance of some statues there. Their outstretched hand. Not a lot of detail. Not a lot of detail. Just they were back there. With that warning. That warning to people coming into Gondor. That's right. And we'll do outstretched hand there. So that's the back side of the Argonoth. And then, of course, these cliffs and rocks and things, they went off that way. There we go. Just put those in. And maybe even, oh, since that's so far away, let's just come to, come to one of our smaller brushes. Now we've got our filbert brush, just one of our smaller brushes. Let's just make a dark, a dark green that can be some of the vegetation back there. There we go. So right there. There's some trees in that, of course. There we go. You just put those in. Maybe even up on top. There were some trees up there. Maybe some would make their way up that way. Just giving us a little color back there. That's right. And we do the same over here. There 
There were some trees that followed. And just given the indication, of course, those are so far away, there is not a lot of detail in there. Not a lot of detail on those. And just vary your color a little bit. That gives it that gives it some highlights and shadows. There we go. Let's do the same over here now. Coming in, just using that filbert brush still. That would be the shoreline. Oh, we painted that, we painted that. Those would be the rocks of the Emin Mule over there. That's right. That's the way Mr. Frodo and my grand gaffer Gamgee went as they headed off alone after the breaking of the fellowship. Now, of course, you know, the fellowship wasn't held together by oaths. Any of them could leave at any time. That's, that's how they set it up with Gandalf and, and Elrond when they were in Rivendell. And they wanted to stay together. They wanted to, but... As fate would have it, oh, Gandalf fell, and Boromir was, oh, he was taken by the ring. There we go. We've got those trees back there. That's just off in the distance. Oh, and it even looks like there's a path that zigzags back up there. That's interesting. I didn't even plan that. It just happened. It just happened. Okay. Well, let's get to the fun part. Let's get to the fun part, putting in this waterfall we've been talking about. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're just going to take... We're just going to take that. Our fan brush. Make sure it's clean. Just come in. There we go. Maybe we'll thin that up just a bit. Oh, not too much. Just thin it up a bit so it sticks well. There we go. All right. Load it up on the brush. Now we're going to take it and that waterfall just comes and it just falls. Oh, there we go. That just falls there. Bring that, oh, straight down, straight down. There we are. And over here, and this comes this way. There we go. And that water comes down. You can see we put that blue on there, and now that just picks it up. It works together to make our water, just, just like we wanted. Oh, and we picked up some of that green. That's okay. That's okay. Our water isn't just straight white and blue. There'll be some, some green in there. Some of that water hits. Oh, maybe it falls right over this way. There we go. And it comes and spills right over, hits a rock, and it shimmies off, and hits another rock here. There we go.
And we just have a fun time putting that water in. And of course it doesn't just fall straight down, it hits rocks and things. Because that's what's all back there. Now it comes down here, comes down here, and that water is going to splash as it hits. It's going to splash. There we go. That'll splash right up. There we are. And it's just rough right down there as it splashes up. There we go. And then it settles down and it runs away. And it's very rough as it runs away as well. Oh, there you see. There you see. We just put some of that and it just splashes. Oh, it hits rocks and things down here. Just splashes up. There we are. Very rough water. Very rough. Oh, and you see right there, just splashes. There we go. There we are. Now, now that water doesn't come down there without making lots of mist. Oh no, it doesn't do that. It doesn't hit and just fall to the ground. So now we have mist that's going to come up. That's right. We just tap that in. Tap that in. Some of that white there. Come back, pick up some more. And that'll come right over, comes right up. Oh, and look at that. See on that black, it just makes such a nice contrast. Oh, just beat the Sauron out of that brush and clean it off. Now, oh, let's come to that blender brush for our mist. Let's come to that blender brush. And we'll just roll in that mist. There we go. Misty, misty, misty. There we are. You see that? Just softens that right up. And you bring that right up into your waterfall, right along those edges. Oh, there we go. There you go. Just roll that right around. Roll it there. There we are. There we are. Very misty there at the bottom. And we can even come back. Oh, say we want a little more white in that mist. Just put it in with a fan brush. And now we do the same. We just roll that around and that's going to, that's going to give us some even more things happening down there. There we go. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and very simple. Very simple. We have that waterfall put in. There we go. Now, now these sides here. Now we need to put some detail on them. And what we do, we're just going to sharpen up those edges just with some of our ivory black. We'll just come here and that comes out. We can see and it comes back this way. There we go. You give that a nice clean edge that we can work with. And then maybe, maybe as that comes down, there's a rock that sticks out there and 
comes right over. That's a shelf there, comes right over that waterfall. And you see that when we do that, that's going to push that waterfall even further back. And maybe there's another spot here. That comes in and then gets lost in that mist. There we go. Now we'll come and do the same on the other side and then we'll highlight those rocks. There we are. So as I said, we just define our edge here because we had some of that sky that mixed in. And we're going to come right over this way. There we are. And again, you put a rock that sticks out and that pushes that waterfall back further into the painting. Further into our painting, that's for sure. Not too far back. And maybe we'll even, maybe there's a rock that stuck through right here that we could see. Just put that in and then we'll highlight him. And maybe there is one right here. And on this side, the same thing. There's some, some rocks that stick out that cause those, the water to split and go another way. That's right. Okay. Now let's just, let's just highlight those rocks a bit. Make up a brownish gray. Let's just use some of that, some of that titanium white we had getting over there. There we go. Just have it marbled out a bit. Don't mix it straight together. Get some of that on your palette knife. And now we'll come and just let these rock shapes come here. And we'll add some vegetation to these once we do it. There we go. You see, you're just bringing that rock down. And give a little highlight there on that shelf. There we go. And you're just letting the canvas, letting the canvas make the breaks, show you where those rocks are. And keep mixing that color up if you need, grabbing some of your titanium white. There we go. Let's come over and do the other side as well. There we go. And you're just letting it break. Just picking up more of that color and you just bring it down and maybe that's a rock that's right in front of this one. There we go. And come back and do the same again where you see those rocks coming in and you just make a shape. 
Give it a line. There we go. There we are. And it gets a little darker down here. There we go. And then, of course, along our shore down here, we'll have some rocks straight in. Right in there that that's crashing upon. There we go. Just bring that down. And of course, don't forget your rocks that are right here in the falls. Just put a little shape and color to those. Just so you don't forget they're there. There we go. Just put those in like that. And there you have some rocks in your waterfall. There we go. There we go. All right. Now what we want to do is we don't want that just to be just to be rocks. And that's it because we know there was some some vegetation there. So we're just going to mix up We come to our sap green and we just get it thinned out. Just using a little bit of our paint thinner. That's right. Thin that out. Now we'll come up and we just put in some vegetation, some trees and things right along here. There we are. And we'll give some other color in there, but for right now, we're just putting these right along. Those rocks are, have trees and bushes growing right out of them. There we go. So we just fill it in here. It just gets lost in that mist. And don't make it just one solid color. Don't let that black disappear. Having that shadow, that shadow in there, that makes all the difference. And we're just going to come right down, right down the side here. We'll give him... So you see quickly, we just, we put a lot of color on the sides, which frames that in. Frames that in there. And it comes down, right down here. And you can see it gets lost in that mist as well. And maybe, maybe there's a little bit of vegetation in the middle here. There we go. There we go. Now let's come with a highlight color. Let's come take some of our sap green into our yellow ochre a little bit more. Not yellow ochre, <laughs> cadmium lemon right there. And we'll, we'll maybe mix in a little bit of yellow ochre too. Just getting some different things on our, oh, let's thin that out a bit so we can see it stick a little better. There we go. Now we come up here and we're just going to just drop in some highlights. Those are a little thick. Let's, what we're going to do is tap that out, tap that out. There we go. These came on a little thick, but when you tap it into the brush, there we go. That makes it look like some individual leaves and things. There we go. Just get that on there. Now let's get some yellow ochre in there. 
vary that color a little. Oh, again, I splattered it right on. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe down here it gets a little more brown. There we go. And then just come to this other side here. Come here again. There you go. We're just dropping and making with this one inch brush. We're just making these individual leaves into our bushes and trees and things. There we go. There we are. So you can see it comes down here. Maybe even darken it up a little bit from the way it was up there. There we go. And we'll just darken this down a little bit so it's not so bright down in the bottom here. It gets brighter up top. There we go. There we are. So you see, we've got that. Now we just have one more thing, one more thing. And let's, let's come. Before we do that, we're just gonna take our fan brush and we're just gonna make this edge right there. We'll define that a little bit more with our Titanium white. Just to find that edge. There we go and bring it down. There we are. And go and do the same on the other side. Same on the other side. There we are. There we go. There we are. That's a fun one to do. But we have one more thing. Oh, now one last thing we need to put in here. Oh, Mr. Boromir, you know, he was not a villain. Not a villain. Just the ring had clouded his judgment for a while. The ring would do that to most. That's right. But he did lose his life protecting my grandpappy Took and my Grunkle Mary, that's right. And Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas, oh, they gave him a burial at sea and, and let him slip down the Anduin in that boat the hobbits gave. So we want to put in that boat right here as it comes over the falls. Oh, we're far away, so it's very small. Hard to tell what that is, hard to tell. But if you know the story, you know what it is. You know that that was old Boromir. And of course, the one thing that our three hunters never suspected would be that this boat would float all the way down to Gondor and they would find Boromir fallen with his horn of Gondor cleaved in two. That's right. But our party of three sent him on his way and they went after the hobbits. They went after the hobbits. So that's old Boromir going over those falls. And because it was one of those elf boats, it stayed upright, even crashing down there at the bottom. That's right. Now, oh, I hope you enjoyed today's painting. Waterfalls are so much fun. They, they're so vivid and they give so much action. That's right. When they hit the bottom, there's so much action to paint in there. Oh, it was a fun painting. Thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. And of course, if you do remember, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with friends. That's right. And more and more can come on this fellowship. Now, 
For you, I hope you paint this, and if you do, I'd love to see it. You can connect with me on, oh, the Instagram or Facebook, things like that, the Twitter. Oh, just look for Tim Botuk. Okay, my friends, have a good week. Goodbye, and God bless.